welcome to our seventh scenario in our uh, playthrough with Ashcan P and Dexter Drake through the Scarlet Keys campaign. We're playing in the Playing Board Games Play Along League, and uh, the deck building restrictions for this season uh, were given in the first video. I'm just going to go over the upgrades. We had three experience from the previous scenario from Without a Trace, and here what we did, we ended up upgrading the second scavenging, kicking out one Moonstone, because all we need is one. And that freed up a corset slot. So what we did is actually pay the eight, pay, pay the price to take an unexpected courage. And uh, that left the, that was all the three experience that we had. So that finished with Ashcan. And here on uh, on Dexter's side, we just upgraded one Azure Flame. Okay. So uh, that's it. That's all the experience we have. So let's get this show on the road. Um, we also need to shuffle these inside. Shuffle this, and we also have one of these. Obviously, since somebody's at our backs, let's see who it is this time. Amaranth, for the third time in a row. I swear I've shuffled. And it's not all Amaranths. <laughs> uh, Amaranth really, really hates us. And she didn't even steal our keys. It's a really claret knife. Okay, uh, we have 34 time, which means we put 6 Doom on the first agenda. We're advancing pretty quick. And we start in Anchorage. Okay, and we can pick up Hollows or Resign. So, I should have looked at that, but it's not going to affect my opening hand, so let's draw our opening hand. Okay, interesting. I need to remember End of the Road is only in the final agenda. <laughs> and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This gets immediately replaced. Is this the good? Is your flame? I think it is. Yeah. Okay, so s since we have spells and economy, we can just pitch these two. We have a fight and evade spell. Here, Shoffer's is economy. Scavenging is good. We're just going to kick these three and look for... These should all be stable. So stable, stable. Stable, stable. And draw three new cards. One, two, three. Okay, Backpack is going to help us find our stuff. Um, okay, so um, we need to spend six clues at the abandoned gold mine, which is somewhere around here. We can get these clues pretty easily. Um, I don't think we have much choice but letting the first agenda advance on us, but otherwise, let's let's get it rocking. Uh, first action, one, two. We're going to run out this Schnaufner's. Second action, we'll play this upgraded backpack. So the top 12. Let's find us some good stuff, eh? We'll take the ice pick. We will take the emergency quiche. And we won't take this, because we can't commit it from there. We'll take this uh, sword game. Okay, that's pretty good. I think the last action we will... We'll, we'll definitely pay one at this ice pick. Question is, what do we do now? So, I think I think I'm going to investigate at a 5 to 2. Yeah. That's a minus 3. We did not fail. We'll crack the ice pick and get these two clues. Also, I should uh, recall. I should recall what the uh, funny tokens do. So, uh, number of hazard trust reads. There aren't any. We have minus fours, and we'd have to hollow stuff, but that's not something we want to do. So, we should avoid that at any cost. Okay. Okay, let's go on to Dexter. Oh! <laughs> Once again, I shuffled in what I was mulliganing, but I didn't try. Um, I mulliganed this. And this. Well, we can't know if it's the same watch this, so... We'll say that we redrew a watch this. That, that was a huge mistake on my part. We'll unkeesh out this right of seeking. First action. Second action, let's walk ahead and see what's waiting for us. Okay, and last action. We'll be ready for anything and play out the Azure Flame. 
Okay, let's do upkeep. Okay, so we advance. We each take an item or ally asset from hand or play and set it aside as a hollow. Um, okay, Dexter has none. Is it hand or play? Hand or play. So, uh, obviously we want to keep the Schaffners. That's good economy. We'd only lose the Swordkin if we hollow this. So let's, let's hollow it, shall we? Okay, this goes bye-bye. Okay, 60 Ohm advances. We get Amaranth. It's a very early Amaranth. And we get an Obscuring Fog, which is... Like, I could pay to make it go away? But it only makes the Scalds minus one. I think that's fine. We are not set up to fight Amaranth anytime soon. So what we do is we actually come in with Dexter. We're shooting Amaranth at a seven, right? This gives a plus two. Seven to four. Let's go eight to four with showmanship. Up by four. <sighs> Last action. Seven, eight to four. We'll gamble through resources. It's minus one. So we get two back and we deal two damage. I think you know what the frustration was about. At least she doesn't retaliate. Let's attack her at a 4-all, because we have to try. So minus 1, we'll lucky our way out. She goes to the victory display, and we draw a card. Um, second action. Do we want to pick up? Choose a set side hollow. It's owner's run. So Dexter could give it back to... Nash can whatever he wants. We'll move here. Last. Oh. Duke isn't ready. We'll ready Duke. And last action. We're going to move and investigate into here. Boop. Four to three. It's minus two. We fail. Okay. And we can do upkeep now. And we're wrecked by nightmares. I'm going to not bother exhausting these. Um, one of... Why isn't this in my hand? <laughs> One of six doom. Okay, snow slide. If we fail each asset with health we control takes one direct damage. We're at a three all. Minus two. Um, first hazard treachery gains surge. So we both take a damage. I think that's the best we can do. And it surges in two. An emissary from Yageth. So he has concealed two. Right. Yeah. So there's one here, one here, and one, honestly, wherever I want. Let's put it, well, if it's the right one and it's a high shroud location, we don't want that, so let's put him here. You get this guy, which we can't make our bitch yet because we don't have the, uh, the card. Right. Let's start with Dexter. We'll give the backpack back. Second action, we're going to walk here. Third action, we're going to walk here. Okay, this is not, so we need six clues in here. We don't really care how we get them. So, um, Ash is going to take two actions to get rid of this. And final action, we're going to run out a backpack. We need to find good stuff. We need items. Really? Just the emergency quiche. We searched 12 cards. Wow, that's that's very unlucky. Um, we're going to shift this to put the track shoes in play. Let's do upkeep. Uh, this guy, he hunts now. Now we do upkeep. Two of six doom. Counter card is a coterie agent, A. So, A. This is A, A. A, A. Okay, so this shuffles here, and we have to do this as well. You get this thing. Investigator, during a skill test, they are performing. Okay, lovely. So we're at a two to three. Elder sign. Does this count? No, but we can pick something up and draw a card. We'll be fine. 
Okay. Um, start with Ashkin, I guess. We'll start by playing scavenging. Then we'll investigate at a four to three. Let's go five to three. Minus four. So we're up by two. Now we're down by two. So we succeed by one, which is unfortunately not enough to scavenge. We get a clue and we get to return a card with resourceful, which is it's either this lucky or this ice pick. I think it's the lucky, the other lucky. Okay, yep. Um, Dexter would really like to draw the bitch card. Last action. I think we need to eat cash. Yeah, let's eat cash. One, two, three. Draw a card. This goes away. Not our best. Not our best. Do we just go and attack that guy twice? I don't think so. Um, first action, we're going to play out this lone wolf. Second action, we'll draw a card. Last action, we'll write up seeking at a seven to three. That's a zero. We get two clues. Okay, enemy face, we're going to have him come to us, and we're going to do upkeep. Okay, uh, we have none to shift, so we flip these. Unfortunate. So we're at 4 of 6 doom to an outsider enemy without one. Hello. Well, that saved us in action. Okay, this is starting to become problematic. Uh, da da da. Gonna place a doom on this. We'll wait with direct horror for a while. Let's start with Ashcan, shall we? We're gonna investigate with Duke at a four. We'll go five to three. It's minus two. We succeed by zero. We're unfortunately gonna pitch the end of the road to Ready Duke. We're gonna investigate again at four to three this time. That's a minus two. So we. Is it hazard? This isn't hazard. It's another success. Last action. One, two, three. We're going to play out Pete. Okay. We need to get a move. Oh, fuck. Oh, no, we're killing this guy. First action. So, actually, who are we killing? Yeah, we're killing this guy. So, whereas you're flaming this guy at a 7 to 3, plus 1, we take a damage. This guy's dead. We're also getting our lone wolf money, which I shouldn't forget. I will kick this Azure Flame with Dexter's magic trick and make it a Miss Aurelia. Second action, we're going to evade at a 6 to 4. We failed. So, several things happens here. We need to discard a card, and we also need to hollow a card. And we also need to take a horror. Because a lot of shit happened here. Last action, we're going to try evading again. To 6 to 4. That's a minus 1, so we succeed. He's evaded. This goes away, right? We draw a set aside hollow. It's going to be this. We also get to move for free. Um, but at, we would have discarded a card before, so we get to keep this. And we do upkeep. Great. Five of six doom. For each set aside hollow you own, we don't, so we need to hollow a card in our hand or play area. Gonna have to probably be track shoes. Can't be lucky. It can't be Pete because I'm gonna have to. I'll discard it and then take a damage and a horror next time this happens. Um. It's gonna be track shoes. But then what am I gonna hollow when the agenda advances? It's gonna be this lucky, unfortunately. You get snow slide. This. When I draw hazard, this is a header. I'm going to blank it. To 
cancel the treachery's effect and discard it. Bye. This guy's ready now. He's also aloof again. Um, okay. We need to expose at least him if we can. He's one of these four cards. Uh, let's gain our lone wolf money. First action, we're going to play out his candles. Second action, we're going to fade the location at a six to four. Up by two. Because of course! Last action, we'll invest the location at a seven to four. Minus two, we're going to expose this thing. It's obviously a decoy. And we get rid of this. So we don't know what's coming for us, unfortunately. First action, we're going to move Investigate into here, I think. At a 5 to 2. 4 to 2. Why? 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 Okay, we're fucked. Second action will draw a card. Last action will draw a card. New phase, this guy moves here and we do upkeep. Okay, the agenda advances. Again, item or ally goes bye bye. Um, buy track shoes. And, oh, buy ritual candles. Why did I play them? And now, once again, five doom advances. Okay, we're losing this. Um, we're going to pay two. No, that's a hex, not a hazard. So we're testing four to three. <laughs> we take a damage. Crypt chill. Testing five to four. We fail. Obviously, we're going to lose this. Well, we're only failing tests at this scenario, which is a bit of a fortunate, but we have the six clues we need, so we might as well go. I guess. I don't think we even have time to kill the bloody chimera. Um, I think we might as well try. So Dexter is going to move into the gold mine. And what? Oh, this is the thing. Testing foot two. That we pass. I forgot. Ah, I forgot about these. Jesus. Second action, we're going to go into here. That's not the gold mine. Last action, we're going to go back here. Ashcan is going to move Vestigate into here. Um, we enter, so we're testing a foot. Yeah, we pass. We're investigating at a 4 to 1. Let's go 5 to 1. How many heck hazards are there? Zero. Okay. Succeed by enough to finally scavenge this ice pick. Uh, no, we're going to scavenge this backpack into play. We need something to be starting to work in our favor. There's an ice pick here. There's finally the pocket multi-tool. That's it. Is this shifted? Oh, well, each discard two cards at random flip this then we'll play this why would I do that I want to play this out let's play it out one two three then I don't think I would have shifted that because I'm gonna use that now to ready Duke we're gonna play this off our last Schaffner's charge and we're gonna move investigate into this one Hoping this is the right one. No, it's not. When we reveal uh, five, five to three, we're testing. Minus three, if you fail, look at the top card of your deck. If it's a weakness, no, bye. I needed this. Now we're still investigating. Four, five, six, seven to four. Minus three, we'll crack the ice pick. Take these two clues. Also, this backpack is gone. Okay, enemy phase, this guy hunts to us, and we do upkeep. One of five doom. 
we need to get a hurry on. We can only reveal one per location. Here's the third one. Ashcan testing a foot four. Let's go five to five to three. Minus two, we pass. I think there's still one more lucky here. Or end of the road. Let's take this. This is going to uh, turn out to be more actions when we're in a pinch. Now all of these go away. One, two, three. Bye. Okay, with Ashcan, we need to go here, right? So we're going to move investigate into here. We enter here, so we're testing a foot. Order one, well, we fail, so we take a bye, Pete. Wow. Okay. We're investigating at a four to one, six to one, minus two. We succeed by enough to scavenge back. Let's take this ice pick. We also get this clue. Second action, we're going to move up. Okay, and we get to spend clues here, right? So we'll spend six of ours. One, two, three, four, five, six. All of these are gone. Let's at least advance. It is agenda three, yada, yada, yada. And we read the interlude, which means we now get to um, which one's Anchorage again? 33. So the interlude says, um, Radial. So we skip to Radial 2. We'll work with you. So we go to Radial 3. We get another tablet. And we get Thorn. And we remove all the Crimson Conspiracy set. Right? Surge. The encounter deck, discard file, and all play areas for Crimson Conspiracy. So this is Crimson Conspiracy. Um, nothing here. It's, there is stuff here. Um, so it's this thing, and this thing, and this thing. It would have been nice if they put the icon on it, but I guess that's fine. Is this Crimson Conspiracy? No, it's just the... Yeah, I think we're done. It's all the coterie agents in these two. And we remove an elder thing at a tablet. And we get Thorn with the stable glass. Is that anybody? Uh, under the lead investigators. That's me, baby. So what happens when a card get hollows? We get an action. And some soak, because Ashcan is... Ashkan is dying. And now we need to start setting traps, right? Is this a wilderness location? It's not. This is a wilderness location. Who spends? Investigators as your location as a group. Okay. Last action, we're moving back. We're testing a foot three to one. So minus zero. We pass. And now, what's going to happen? Oh, he's going to attack us. So we're going to take an extra action at the end of the road. Draw a card and a resource. But did he do all damage and horror? We need Dexter to kill this guy, or at least make him his bitch. Then, after you end your turn, the car, nah, then if you own three or more set aside hollows, he attacks you. We can tank one attack. I think we have to, because we're going to spend two clues to put a trap here. And we can advance at the end of any round. Okay, now he tries hollowing this, he succeeds, and he attacks us, so. One here and one here. Okay. Um, is there a way for me to kill this guy? I don't think so. Um, I have two clues, right? Yep. So I can go set a trap here. Let's do that. Testing five to three. Good. Second action. We're going to set a trap here. I think last action we come back. We're testing at a 2 to 1. Minus 0. We pass that. And he's going to hollow our shit. Great. And he deals us damage and a horror. Then we do upkeep. And I think we'll advance. We don't have time to go put more. And 
it's going to be a, what are the wildernesses? One, two, the ones we don't know, it's one, two, three. Um, we'll look here with the sable glass. Then it's a 50-50 shot. I guess that's fine. Uh, yeah, we'll advance. This goes away at the end of the round. We're advancing. We don't have time. Uh, spawn the Void Chimera, true form. Okay, so we spawn this guy. And we put him in each wilderness location. So, one, that's not a wilderness, two, three, four, and five. This has a weird connection, so let's do this. Okay, this makes sense now. And now we get to look wherever oh, these, obviously. For each one, we may look at the revealed side of the concealed mini cards just placed at that location. So, um, there's one here. Well, there he is! Okay. And after we expose them, we advance the act. Okay. Um, two of five doom. Counter card is a grizzly. He spawns on us. And we get seeing shadows. Okay. Um, we can kill this grizzly. We have a good shot. Of uh, dealing with the void chimera. How do we expose him though? Oh, we should have taken an extra. Ah, I keep forgetting a thorn. When we expose him, we're going to have to kill him and deal 8 damage. Dexter has nothing. Absolutely jack shit. It's going to move us to the other side of this. Which is the another outsider's lair, I think. And and I don't know how we do this, but if we fight the location. Interesting. I'm gonna fight because he cannot enter non wilderness locations. Interesting. We're gonna fight the location at a four to one. Six to one. Great. We expose this. This guy is massive, so he goes here. What happens is this. Great, the outsider's layer again. I remember this. Okay, uh, put the outsider layers into play and move Void Chimera and each investigator at its location to the outsider's layer. So we're all here. And they're considered connected, right? Uh, the location was exposed is connected so that goes here but not vice versa okay and if we defeat him we advance the act and is this a wilderness location no so he's stuck here okay this guy's massive and he's on us i need to somehow evade him let's play end of the road gain an action a card and a resource We'll evade at a five to three to four, five to four. Um, we're gonna ready the pocket multi tool and go six to four. Yes, we've evaded it. Oh, the problem is that I can't ready stuff now. This is useless. We didn't hollow anything, so let's draw a card. And we'll investigate at a three to four and we'll pitch this. No. We will shift Eye of Ravens. We're at a six, seven to four up by three. Minus five. Yay. Uh, first action. One, two. We're going to zap out this sword cane. We're going to attack it at a 5 to 4. That's a damage. We'll exhaust Sword King to attack again. We 
lose a card as a hollow, which means that we get an action. We will play the LCC. And last action, we're going to Red of Seeking here at a 7 to 4, up by 3. It's a minus 5. Okay, this guy hunts in. This guy readies, and we do upkeep. Perfect timing on this. Perfect timing. 3 of 5. Beyond the pale, this attaches here. We're testing 3L. Obviously, we're going to fail. It's hollows this. I should have committed it. Um, we take a horror, but we gain an action immediately. No, we're not going to take it. And we can only expose one. That's absolutely fine. Ah, oh, brutal, brutal, brutal. This is going to start smacking us as well. We're going to each going to take a horror. I should have shifted this ages ago. I'm going to kill this right of seeking and make it this. First action, we're going to evade the Void Chimera at 6 to 4. Great. We're going to draw a card. And we're going to draw a card. Thank you! It's a bit too late now. End of my turn, he hollows this. He dings me. And now I get an action as if it were my turn. Um, which I, I would have played this anyways. One, two, three. So with my action, I'm going to use it. To. Well, it's aloof anyway. So it's going to slowly but surely damage itself, but it's also going to heal Ashkan for damage. Ashkan for two actions is going to get rid of Haunted because he has to. And we're gonna we're gonna try biting with Duke, I think. Four, five, six, seven, seven to four. Why the fuck do I bother? Four, five, six, seven. We fail. Of course we fucking fail. We mill this and we take a damage and a whore. And we do upkeep. Last turn. Okay, cracking ice. That means there's skulls are minus ones. Who's in the shadows? Just this guy? It's a damage and a horror? Fine, we'll tank it. I have to. Okay, 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 okay. Um, this is not if he's ready. That's if I end my turn. Uh, it's it's going to kill me. No. We're going to shift this. We'll automatically evade everybody at my level. We're going to turn this LCC. No, not the LCC. We're going to turn the Miss Aurelia into a brand. First action, 8 to 4. Up by 4. Minus 5, because fucking of course. Second action, 9 to 4. Great. Spend 3 charges to deal 3 damage, so he took or total. I have to stop failing. I mean, this makes fucking no sense. <sighs> no, he's evaded. If he attacks me, I die. But if I don't deal three damage and have Duke deal the final blow, we lose the scenario. So, well, uh, brand him again at an eight. To four. Do you have anything for me? Nothing. Eight to four. Great. We deal three more damage. He took seven at the end of my turn. He hollows a card I own and attacks me, killing Dexter. Going to three mental trauma. Because minus fives are fun without options of changing them. 
Um, third mental trauma on Dex. Okay, it's try hard mode. Um, yeah, the extra action does nothing now. We're going to attack at a four, five, six, seven. And we'll pitch this to ready this and get another two. So we're at a nine to four, up by five. Great, we do the one damage we need. He goes to the victory display. Let's advance. Thorn story asset is in play, R1. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Soren is the bearer of the stable glass. We mark three times, which we can't. We get a measly one. We didn't even get this. Two experience. It wasn't even worth coming here. I went out with the trauma for two experience. Yowza. Well, uh, <laughs> that was a bit unexpected. The, the hollow situation went out of hand. Um... He got the Sable Glass, which he would have gotten anyways. I wanted a bit more experience out of this. It took me forever to find the power word. That's why I think I failed. Um, we had more experience opportunities. Let's say we would have gotten this clue, which we didn't have a chance because too many things got in the way. There was the Emissary, which we could have gotten. But uh, all in all, two experience for trauma. Not worth it, but what can you do? Until next time, see you around.